Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to install extensions on Mozilla Firefox. Uh, some people have an issue with this because usually it's Google Chrome that gets most of the extensions and there is a little bit of uh, confusion surrounding it but it's not a problem, it's actually very simple. We're going to go through it, I'm going to explain everything to you. So. As you know, a majority of browsers that are available, specifically on Windows 10, they all use some measure of extensions or add-ons or something like that. Like you always have that somewhere in there. It's just that the support for most of them differ on different aspects. So the, the add-on or extension that works for Chrome might not necessarily be the one that works for Firefox or Edge and so on. Uh, it's a little bit difficult to have software support across all platforms. So what we want to do is, first things first, you want to see if you have any ads on installed to begin with. In order to do that, you click on this little three line thing here and you don't go to options. Above options, you have add ons. You click on add ons. Now, as you can see, I don't have many extensions here, but we're going to go through all of the options that you have for installing the extensions that you want. As you can see, I don't have anything here, but I'm being suggested a couple of extensions. These are just things you may need them or not. You know, it doesn't really matter. We have tomato clock, we have ghostery, privacy ad blocker, impulse blocker, single file. Each of them do something different. You can find more add-ons here. So first, let's see how it looks like if we install an add-on from this menu. So as you can see, it's a download verifying add-on. Uh, we're going to see how it looks if it's installed. I click add, and as you can see, it's turned on. Now, see this little icon right here? That's your cue to activate or deactivate the icon. Most of the add-ons that you get also have an icon up here. So whatever the feature is. Let's have a look at this here. So you have remove, you have options. Some of the add-ons may have certain options that you may want to adjust. You also have manage, which is a list of descriptions, permissions to update, whatever the developer browses, options, which we had in our panel for, and permission. So that is basically what you get when you install an extension. Find more add-ons. So as you can see, when I click on find more add-ons, it goes to add-ons.mozilla.org. That is an address that you can enter on your own and you will still be able to gain access to the extensions. So what about this page, Firefox browser add-ons? Well, this is sort of like the Chrome store. You have access to multiple things. So you have popular themes, you have different extensions. If you want to be more specific, uh, you can go to explore extensions with tags, popularity, you can sort them by old name, whatever you like. Okay, like all of these are available to you. And then let's say I want to go with one tab. Oh, well, let's go with this style tab. Okay. So this is how it will look like if we're not installing it here. Basically the same procedure. You have screenshots, descriptions, blah, blah, blah. More specific, size, all that good stuff. Again, if you want to install it, add to Firefox. Wait a little bit, add. And then you basically get the tab, okay? You basically get the tab. Again, the icon appears here, as you can see, this is how it act gets activated and deactivated. If you want to remove the add-on, very simply, you click remove and done. So, you also get a recommendations tab, which is similar to the ones we just looked, except this one. Here you get the installed ones and recommendations, where it's that one, it's just a recommendation, plus you get some themes. Okay, so that is how you install extensions on Firefox. Thanks for watching the video. If you like the video, please make sure to click thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, 
check out similar videos like this if you're interested. And if you have any questions, ask them in the comments section. I will see you later. Bye-bye.